Well, I, I think that um, multiple benefits are extremely important, um, not only for the fact that we've been talking about energy efficiency in itself for 20 years, and, uh, and we still need to, uh, to move forward and uh, revitalize the, 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 the political discussion, and, and multiple benefits is a very good way of doing that. Different people have different incentives, and it's important that each um, stakeholder in the value chain has an incentive and I guess that's what IA has been able to do with Ujala. It's been able to measure multiple benefits on Ujala and gain the traction across the value chain and uh, no, uh, no solution can be fit for all. It has to be fit for purpose and that's how multiple benefits help gain traction. Well, energy efficiency provides value on many levels and so I think when you can talk about the multiple benefits of energy efficiency, you can help other people understand, especially those people who aren't familiar with energy efficiency or are interested in benefits beyond the direct energy impacts. So for example, I work with environmental policymakers, and, and they might not take a second look at energy efficiency if they just learn about the, efficiency, you know, the energy savings of efficiency. However, if you can talk to them or present it to them in terms that they care about, like the emissions impact of implementing energy efficiency policies or the health effects of reducing emissions through energy efficiency, then you're gonna build a broader set of folks that are interested in energy efficiency and willing to take a look and see if it can help them achieve their priorities and their goals. Well, throughout the United States, more often than not, the utilities will include a lot of the cost of energy efficiency programs, but they don't include the symmetrical benefits that are associated with it. So having the conversation about what NEIs are, what non-energy benefits are, um, and the importance of symmetry within cost-effectiveness testing can allow those programs to help states achieve more of their state energy goals, uh, as well as achieve greater healthy homes and healthy schools uh, throughout the country. Energy efficiency as a standalone business case is often not sufficient to convince investors. But if you add a green image of a building, if you add, for example, a higher productivity of your employees, you'll find much more convincing reasons to invest in deep energy retrofits.